You know, there's been a discussion around, speaking of the pandemic and everything like that, there's been a discussion going around about, you know, when will the movie theaters open? But then an extension of that discussion has been, when they do, are people going to want to go back to the movie theaters? And we've talked about a couple of different, you know, dynamics at play. Dynamic number one, we are cautious. You know, people are, there are going to be a number of people who are going to be understandably and reasonably cautious about the idea of going back into public spaces, particularly where there's going to be a bunch of other people. So there's going to be that. So there's one train of thought that, you know, when the doors open to the theaters, not many people are going to go. Even if they have, you know, social distancing, staggered seating, limited show times, all those sorts of rules and, and regulations and requirements in place, there are still going to be, understandably so, a lot of people are going to be cautious. The other train of thought that I've kind of proposed on this show before has been, I don't think we should underestimate the drive a lot of people have to get back to anything that feels like normal again. I do not think whether it's uh, totally reasonable, unreasonable, not so smart, totally smart, whatever, there's going to be a lot of people that I believe that when the doors of the theaters are opened, that while there will be a bunch who are cautious, understandably so, there's also going to be a lot of people that are going to be just really ready to get back to something that feels normal again. And Rob, while this is not a complete apples to apples comparison, I think what we've seen this weekend over in, over the course in the United States, where there are reports going over that, you know, bars that have been, because there are areas like just Riverside County, out just outside of Los Angeles, they're talking about opening up restaurants again this coming week. And there are other places that have been slowly rolling those open. So beaches, bars, boardwalks, uh, my wife you know, goes, goes hiking. She said she saw a lot more people out there than she thought there were going to be. Of course, my wife has the respirator mask on the whole kind of bit. She plays it safe, but people are flocking again. I'm not here to say about whether that's a dumb thing or a smart thing. I, I'm not commenting. I'm just saying that a lot of people are flocking out to having the opportunity to get back to these places that was a part of their normal. Now, again, I'm not suggesting that what we've got here is a complete apples to apples comparison, right? Getting out to the bars, getting out to the restaurants, getting out to the beaches, getting out to the boardwalks. That's not the exact same comparison as say getting back out into a movie theater. But I do believe there's a lot of very strong similarities in the situations. And I believe that once movie theaters open back up, while they will not be filled to capacity because they're going to have limited seating, or whatever, I think we're going to see more people going back than people think. And again, whether that's a smart thing, dumb thing, whatever, I assume they're going to try to have protocols in place to make it safe, to make it good. But Rob, I look at these situations going on around the country and, and to me, you know, I've said this before, Rob, while I get having a little bit of apprehension, I do. I think it's reasonable having apprehension right. going back into a movie theater. I think there's more reason to be nervous about going into a grocery store. I think there's more reason to be cautious and nervous about going into a bar where not only are you in a much smaller space with much lower ceilings and whatever, but everybody's talking and talking and talking and talking. And, and, you know, well, but, and, and I'm not saying it's you shouldn't go back to restaurants or grocery stores or whatever. I'm just saying I've always kind of felt like I would feel actually a little bit easier going into a movie theater, one of those. Rob, I'm looking at this with all these people flocking to these places again. I'm looking at this as kind of confirmation bias, if you will, but that when the theaters open, I think you're going to see more people going back than we anticipate. Rob, you look at this situation. What, how do you think this applies? Which ways do you think it's similar? Which ways do you think it's not similar? How do you break this all down? Well, look, I mean, we're, we're going to know because all of these people flocking to all of these places in about two weeks, we're going to see how this worked out for everybody. Um, and it'll be academic. And it's either going to be less than we thought or it's going to be the same or more. We have some states that are on the rise. Our state in California, John, we are not flattening our curve. The state, the, the cases are, 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 are inching upward. And as people go out, I expect them to go up. I think it's really going to depend on how it, how it turns out. But like you pointed out, as they have said, you know, it's it's – when we're talking and sneezing and we're, we're the ones spreading the virus and it's mostly through droplets and things that are coming out of our mouths. So if you're wearing a mask in a movie theater, I think, 
it's not necessarily as dangerous. I would like to point out, though, about supermarkets, my local Vaughn's and local Trader Joe's, they have done a fantastic job. There's somebody outside the door spraying everybody with hand sanitizer going in. They limit the amount of people going in. And they have cleaning crews in the stores literally cleaning up all the time. So I've been very impressed by my local grocery stores here in Pasadena. They've done – well, the ones I go to have done a great job. But look, I think you're right about going to the movie theaters if if, if we don't have massive – growth in cases i think going to movie theaters it's a place where you know if every other row is empty and it's 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 not as much as usual you know you don't have packed people and they keep it fairly clean i'm not as worried about going to see a movie as i would be like you said about going to a restaurant or bar certainly because if you're just sitting there quietly you're not going to be breathing or talking or spewing your perhaps coronavirus out breath on everybody you know well and and hopefully you and i've talked about this before because you know i've been really impressed with a lot of the grocery stores that are in our area and the the cautions they're taking i expect no less from movie theaters i expect no less from movie theaters number one telling you know any patrons to show up that look like they may be symptomatic of anything and saying you know folks we love that you've come here but we're gonna have to ask you to come back another time when you're feeling better have hand sanitizer thing all the staff masked up cleaning crews blah blah all that kind of stuff and i don't again whether it's smart or dumb that's a different topic but i just think we're gonna see more people come back to the theaters when it does happen question here for you guys is what do you think about that when you're seeing people flocking out to public places opening up do you think that has any relation or direct line to what might happen when the movie theaters open up or do you think a lot of people still avoid it jump down into the comment section below and let me know your thoughts all right 